It all went down last weekend at the Songnam Esports Festival, where Contenders Korea 2019 Season 2 came to a close, a champion was crowned, and the three Korean reps for the upcoming gauntlet were finalised. The tournament picked up with the semi finals, with Runaway and Element Mystic taking on the seeded O2 Blast and Gen G. It looks like the practice on the new patch from the quarterfinals proved valuable, as both the seeded teams ultimately struggled. Genji's loss against Element Mystic came pretty swiftly, with Sparkle doing what Sparkle does best in a stomp over the first three maps, giving Element Mystic the 3 0. The O2 vs Runaway matchup was a lot closer, with Kaiser facing off against his old org. O2 just fell short of completing a reverse sweep after the half, managing to push Runaway to the final round of Elios, but ultimately losing out on Ruins, giving Runaway the 3 2 victory and a path to finals. So the grand finals came down to the defending champions against the former champions, and saw Runaway come out of the gate strong with two map wins on Elios and Anubis. Element Mystic fought back with wins on Hollywood and made very quick work of a hold on Havana. The two came as close as two teams possibly can on Nepal, trading 100% to 99% back and forth, with Runaway just managing to edge it out on round 3. It all came down to the classic King's Row, with Runaway managing to hold off Element Mystic in second innings and sealing the final victory they needed to get the best of 7. Which means Runaway has reclaimed their title as a contender's Korea champion, a sweet victory well deserved and shared with everyone's favourite personnel in pink, including their newest addition, head coach Kuki. But it's not over yet, as the top three will go on to represent South Korea in the upcoming Gauntlet Tournament. Runaway, Element Mystic, and Gen G will join LG, Talon, ATL Academy, Envy, XL2 Academy, Gladiators Legion, and HSL Esports in the double elimination group stage from October 19th to the 13th held in Seoul. Tickets aren't on sale yet, but of course we'll keep you updated as to when they go live. And that's all today. As always, for more Korean Overwatch news throughout the week, be sure to follow us on Twitter. And for more Korean gaming news, be sure to check out our full news video on our YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye!